This is Ren from Helpful Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a modded server on a Mac. You can use any mod that you would like, but in order to play on the server, you must port forward. There will be an annotation on the screen and a link in the description of how to port forward, and also you must install the mod to your computer, to your Minecraft. I will show you how to do that in this video. But yeah, we're gonna go right into it. Okay, so you're gonna create a new folder. As you can see, I've done that right here already. So I'm just gonna, I'll go ahead and do it again, whatever. So we're gonna create this, name it modded. I wouldn't name it modded server, except this is the one, just to save time, I've already created one. And you're gonna go into it, it's empty right now, no problem. You're gonna download Minecraft Forge. In order to get Minecraft Forge, you're gonna go to your default browser and type in Forge in Google, and then click on the first one, and download the installer for the most recent one. So I will put a link for Forge in the description. So, right now we're gonna open Forge. And then this should come up, it will say, there would be three install things. It's going to come up in a second. Okay, so you're going to, if you haven't already used Forge, you're going to go ahead and click Install Client and click OK. And what this will do is it will install the client to your Minecraft. And then after you've done that, you're going to want to reopen Forge and click Install Server. And then double click, and then click these three dots. Go down to whatever your name is, the home. And then go into your desktop and go into the folder so it's going to be called whatever you called it and then we're just going to cancel because we've already done that and then you just want to click OK I just cancelled because I've already done it um, and then what that will do is it will install three things into your folder and if there's an error right here and it crashes that's because your minecraft is um, the, the forge the minecraft forge you used in your minecraft folder is not the same that you've used in the server so if you haven't fixed that you're gonna wanna go go ahead and do that and there won't be an error so then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come in here there will only be three things don't worry there should only be libraries this and then this what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click the minecraft forge and this thing right here minecraft forge as you can see it's blue and then all these folders will come up and you'll get a console and then as soon as that finishes generating the world and all that you can just click stop and then for your mod, in order to put the mod on the server, you're just going to go into the mods folder, drag the mod in there, and then delete the world so you can regenerate the world with the mod in it. So we're just going to go ahead and clear our trash. And then in order to install the mod into your Minecraft, you're going to go Oh, no, not here. You're going to go to go, go to folder, and you're going to go want to go to this. This little squiggly line slash library slash application support. I will put this in the description. Okay, and after you've done that, you're going to want to scroll down until you find Minecraft. And then you're just going to get this Minecraft folder. This is all your Minecraft. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to do, 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 mods. And this is where you're going to put the mod in. So I'm just going to uninstall Pixelmon. Go ahead and uninstall Pixelmon. And then you're just going to go into your mods folder and drag the mod in. Oops, that's not the mod. The mod. Now, if this is Pixelmon, if your mod is Pixelmon, then you're just going to want to drag the Pixelmon.zip in and then go out and drag the database into your Minecraft folder. And then it will work. If you do not do that, Pixelmon will not work. It's only for Pixelmon. Do not worry if it's a different mod. Alright, and now that we've done that and installed our mod into our server and into our Minecraft, we can just go ahead and double click the Minecraft Forge Universal. And this is gonna how you all. This is gonna be how you always start your server. You're gonna have console when you open this. More folders are gonna start generating, and it's all gonna be good. So while that is opening, we're gonna go ahead and go into Minecraft and open it up. 
and get into the server. All right, there we go. Console is popping up. We're just gonna let it regenerate the world, and then we are gonna have to do an extra step that you guys do not have to do. The only reason I have to do this extra step is because I have port forwarded on a different port. When you guys do your port forwarding, you're gonna want to port forward on port 25565, which will make your life a lot easier. If you decide to do another port like I did, 25578, then you're gonna have to do this extra step with me for your server to work. So let's launch Minecraft. And our, uh, I don't know. Our server should be coming up by now. I think it's just lagging from all my softwares. Hmm. But yeah, when you double click it again, the new world will spawn, all that good stuff. All that shabam. There we go. There's console. Console is coming up right now. Come on, hurry up, console. Blah, da, da, da. There we go. This is your server console. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Just because of the lag. But yes, you will be able to get on your server if you have a port forwarded port. And the extra step, I'll, I'll just go ahead and do that for you guys right right now. I'm just going to go ahead and quit that. The extra step, this if you have a different port, then this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to want to rename this thing to craft bucket. Bucket and then you're going to want to go into text edit. So let's go ahead and do that text edit and so this is the code you're going to want to type into text edit let's see right here so I'll put this in the description we're just going to copy that paste it and then it will not work unless you do that. Format, for, do this. Format, make plain text. Then this will happen. And then after that, you're going to want to save it. And we're just going to go ahead and copy. And then you're going to want to rename it whatever you want blah 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 dot command use command and then you'll have your command for your server I already have one so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that to the trash and paste this one into here and then double click it As you can see, I spelled craft bucket wrong. Now, what this extra step will do is it will allow you a better console for easier kicking, and also, if you have a different port, it will be a lot easier, and the server will run a lot more smoothly. Um, if you have the port 25565, don't worry about this extra step. I mean, you can if you you want to have an extra console and have your server run a tiny bit more smoothly. But if you don't want to, then you can go ahead and skip this. What you're going to want to do to change the port for your server is you're going to want to go into server.properties, open with, other. Now you're going to want to go down to... 
let's see if we can find it. There we go, text edit. And you are going to want to make the server port 25578. Or whatever you port forwarded on, it doesn't have to be 25578. Yeah. But yeah, that is how you do the extra step. That is how you make a modded Minecraft server with any mod you want and play on it. The port forward annotation is on the screen as you can see right over here. Right over here. Yeah. And it's in the description. So thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.